If you've been welding on your project for a while and all of a sudden you're having some issues with maybe the wire stumbling, burning back to the contact tip, or maybe having trouble with just the arc not even starting, I've got a few troubleshooting tips for you to help you get things figured out and back on track. So the first thing I like to look at is my contact tip. With the wire that runs through there all the time, it's probably the item that wears the most or fastest um, as far as consumables on your machine. So I'll typically take the tip out of the gun, I'll grab a fresh tip and just kind of look down at the end and just see how large that hole got. You know, I don't know how long your tip has been in, but um, if it looks like it's been worn out, just change your tip. Next thing I do is I'll check my ground. Um, you know, if, if you're not on nice clean material, maybe it's maybe you're clamped down to rusty material or there's paint, there's grease, there's oil or something. You're just gonna wanna clean that area up and reclamp your ground. Another thing to look for is drive roll tension. So with your drive roll tension, you can actually be too loose or too tight. If it's too loose, the machine will not be feeding the wire through into the weld puddle. It's gonna tend to wanna burn back on you. If it's too tight, as that wire comes out of the gun, it'll curl a little bit on you and it won't feed properly into the weld puddle. So what I do to set that is I'll grab a block of wood that I've got around laying in the shop, set it on my table, and then I'll grab my gun and I'll run out about three inches of wire. I lay that down on top of the wood at about a 45 degree angle, pull the trigger, and if your tension is set right, it's gonna push that wire into the wood and curl that up just like a little pigtail and it won't, be, it won't be stopping the wire or pushing back or anything. So if you can do that, your tension is set properly. The other tension that you wanna look for is your, on your spool hub. So it's the same thing, your spool hub can be too loose and it can be too tight. If it's too loose, what'll happen is you'll be welding, you'll let off the trigger to stop, but that spool will continue to turn your wire will come off that spool and get loose. And then when you go to weld again, it gets tangled up. There'll be a bird's nest there and it may um, actually jam up on you. The other thing that can happen, as I mentioned, is being too tight. There again, if your spool is too tight, their machine's trying to feed that wire in, but it's fighting the spool hub. So then you can have it where it's gonna start burning back on you again there. So once you have your spool hub tension set correctly, the next thing I like to look at is the gas flow. So, you know, maybe while you're working on your project, your tank was low and you happen to run out of gas. So I'd like to go back to the tank, check the meter and make sure that there's gas in the tank. If there is, next thing I'll check is my flow. Maybe I didn't have that set properly. Uh, somebody else changed it on me. So just go grab your gun, pull the trigger and um, watch the meter and make sure you're still at about 30 CFH, um, which is typical for MIG welding. If you think you're still having gas issues, another thing you might want to look at is pull the gun out of the machine, and on the pin end, you'll see there's two O-rings. Um, take a look at those O-rings, and if you know they've got chunks of rubber missing and all that, change those out because you may have a leak there inside the machine. If you go through all of this and you still haven't been able to fix it, the last thing I usually look at is the liner. Reason being, it just takes the most time to change. Now I've seen people where they think their liner's clogged, and what they'll do is they'll take the gun out of the machine and they grab the shop air and they start pumping air through their gun, through the liner. I don't recommend doing that because if your shop air has condensation in it or if there's a, a oil in it, you're just gonna put that into the liner and then go weld again and you're gonna contaminate your weld. So just get yourself a new liner, change it out and, and be done. So if you were having some weld issues, hopefully these tips will get you back to working on your project.